You are gonna shoot me point blank with a shotgun in front of your whole family? I... It wasn't loaded. No, but you didn't know that. You were ready to do it. We came here for a mechanic and a good night's sleep. I'm not the one who brought the guns. You pull something like that again, you better hope there's a shell in it. Because I am all out of goodwill. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. <gasps> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, you dipshits broke into my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. You people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Take him in the back there, and destroy that radio. Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time, but he gets things done. Sound like you know him pretty well. It's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small-town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. You're not gonna put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Keep your mouth shut, and don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again... Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? <sighs> yes, yeah, no good. It's too tight. All right. 
How do we do this? Friction, maybe? Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? Down it's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One. Two. <laughs> if it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the Sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Uh, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. Look, I need to know. Where's my deputy? He's... They sh shot him. He's dead. Hello? We called him Big Sam. He was a good man. What else can you tell me about what's going on in there? The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. The youngest brother, the one they call Jay? He's just a kid. I don't even think he wants to be here. Probably bullied into it, but listen. Good to identify a weak link for us and, and for you. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. The middle brother, I think his name's Dale? He seems sort of a loose cannon, maybe. Yep, that's Dale. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? told them what's happening here, that the Holtz were behind us. Fuck! These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him, and he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. 
The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor and pick up the pen. decision. Now, all you've got to do is wake up and do it for real. <gasps> Shit. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. I'm probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office, but this time I actually signed the... A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by 7. I'm just gonna pick up China. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... Hmm. I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until 7 to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Dish is done. Some dreams never get off the ground. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? Flight deck, there should be... No, well, this is obviously alien technology. Yeah, fuck you too. I like it sweaty. Daddy! Hi, pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Really gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs>
I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. <sighs> hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but, um... What happened? I tried, really. I just didn't realize how much was still left to do. And as for the AC, that shouldn't be our responsibility anyway. I'm with you. I just know what our landlord's like. You break it, you fix it. I'm sorry, hon, I meant to. I just couldn't figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. <sighs> I'll get her ready for bed when you get noodled up. <laughs> Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? We all have things that scare us, like the dark. And that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. <laughs> Try to sleep. <sighs> okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Love you too. Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? Why did the lights go out? It's a power outage. We get them all the time here. No outage. The damn sheriff. Dale, keep a lookout. On it. I need to get the hell out of here. upstairs and keep her quiet. Don't. That's not necessary. And make sure the windows are locked. Jay, now. Come on. I'll take care of you. You. A place like this gotta have a generator. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. So I suppose I could try the manual transfer switch. Go do it. Okay, 
That's the desk. Hairpin. Could be useful. <clears throat> Not getting out that way. Hey. Hey. I can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. You can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. <laughs> So he's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. It's me. It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy! I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I heard. Zoe, you okay? Daddy, I don't want to be here anymore. Remember what I told you? It's okay to be scared. Let it all out, Pumpkin. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't wanna go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before before the lights come back on, okay? With mommy and grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. You guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the Holtz? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Uh. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Down! Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? Come on. 
We won't make it. Vince, we need to go. It's too dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lock. What the hell are you doing? Grandpa! <gasps> Sanchez is hit! I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh, hurt? I don't know, honey. Uh, oh. Oh. Jim, are you okay? Uh, Dad! He needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance! He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. Oh. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. You still with us, Grandpa? Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you with us? Jim, do you know where we are right now? Arizona. Sam Bluff Motel. No, it's called the Desert Dream. That was the old name before I bought it. I'll I'll be all right. I I just need a, a minute to, to get my <laughs> Easy now. He needs to see a doctor. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's, veggie delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Ugh. Is there anything more stressful than moving?
I hear divorce is stressful. <sighs> anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? Wake Zoe. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Why did you... Vince, have you been looking at my phone? Daddy? Mm. Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Even with my star lamp on. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and Mommy? Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. <sighs> it's just strange. I first he texted you. Then called your cell, then called the house. He missed the farewell drinks and wanted to say goodbye. He was just being nice. <sighs> Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. But it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? <sighs> I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. It's just... Yeah. Like you said, I've lost a lot this year. Don't want to lose you too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. Wait, wait. Stop. Are you okay? 
No, it's fine. I'm just, um... I'm just tired with the move and everything. Yeah. We better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. Good night. Night. Vince, I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. You want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You're going for a walk. Uh, uh, not me. Please. T take Zoe. I'm... Uh, well, uh, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Jim, you have a head injury. You're getting an MRI. That's the end of it. Please. I don't need a hospital. Take him out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. When I bump my head, Mommy puts ice on it. Maybe I'll try that. I love you, kiddo. Hey, look. <laughs> You dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. <sighs> okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. Wait, where's Zeus? Where you got hit in the head. Is it on the same side? That's what? That's the tumor. Oh, God. Uh, Vince, there is no tumor. How hard were you hit? You were diagnosed a year ago. It's in your parietal lobe. It's not real. I made it up. What? Look, a year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed, and, and suddenly I was alone. My brother was long gone. I had no other family, just you. So I started to imagine being a father again. You weren't gonna let me back in your life after so many years, not without a good reason. No. No, 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 no. Tell me this is the concussion talking. That whole thing about coming to live with us? Vince, I don't know why I did it. I wish I hadn't. I guess I've just been lying to people for so long I can't tell the difference anymore. Why are you telling me this now? Because if anything happens to you tonight... Hey, hurry it up! Everything good I've ever had, I've ruined. My marriage, my health. Son, I lied because I want a family. I want you, I want Zoe. If we survive tonight, please. Give me another shot. <sighs> One more chance. That's all you get. Thank you, Vince. It means everything to me. 
I should go before he recognizes me. What? Can I get a paramedic here? <laughs> I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. Yeah, that's me. Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You do. I really hope you're right. I spent 10 years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. <sighs> Did Grandpa see a doctor? He's seeing one now, honey. He'll be all right. Strange thing, though. I think he knows the sheriff. Really? How? He didn't say. But I met him and he was... Uh... What? Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. Is that a good thing? I mean, for us? You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Hey, you want to share that with the rest of us? I don't think I do. Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. We don't get to eat? Mm. No. I said no. The answer is no. <laughs> hey. How about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. They need their strength. We can eat when we're free. 
When did you start giving two shits about us? A hungry kidnapper is a grumpy kidnapper, right? <laughs> well, that's true, I guess. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Oh, shit, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. But what you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. You know, Jay's into nature, me. Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. There's this girl I got my eye on. It. It's not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit? I got no idea. Don't you have a cousin you can marry? Keep it in the gene pool. What the hell did you say? Nothing. It was... It was just a joke. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Gene pool, huh? <laughs> Good one. So, what do you say? Share the pizza? Here. Just tell him I stop complaining. And hey, about your old man, you know I didn't mean to hit him so hard, right? He just ran and I... Sure. Whatever you say. Well, I'll be damned. Wondered what got into you back there. We keep them happy. We might just make it through this. <laughs> you got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? <sighs> Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. have to hold me so tight? It's not my fault your neck's so fat. Coming out! God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. <laughs> You're almost there. Just keep a cool head. Mm -hmm. Cool head, right. You sound like Tyler. Please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Vince. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. Hmm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> so petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway, I believe you have something of mine. 
Yeah. Your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! Step closer, I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Don't have it! Bullshit! Those boys are born liars. I'd go inside if I were you. What did you do? What did I do? Are you fucking serious? Why did you come back? Because my family's in here! Goddamn kill! <laughs> his fault. You're the one in charge, Tyler. You're the one who let your brother go out there. You want to blame someone? Take a look in the fucking... Joyce! No. Tyler... <laughs> 